Hello, I'm Brian, and I'm excited to share with you today the new REI Special Edition Basecamp 16. Now, when we decided to collaborate with REI, we had their team and our team look at our product offering and said, what is it? What would be the best product? What would be the best platform to put this together in? And the Basecamp just made sense. It's easy to tow. It can be towed by small SUVs, mid-sized SUVs, and any truck. Easy to haul gear inside and out with the rear cargo door, and it has the ability to take your adventure just a little bit further. With the equipped X package, which is standard on the REI, we get a three inch lift, we get the more aggressive Goodyear tires, and as you go forward, the stainless steel rock guards help protect the aluminum. Certainly if you have very aggressive tires on your tow vehicle, and you're off road and you're kicking up debris, the Solar Guard plays double duty. It offers protection from road debris from your tow vehicle on dirt or gravel roads. It also helps reduce a lot of the UV and that heat that can come from the sun. When we sat down with REI, we wanted to look at sustainable features and sustainable design. But it's more than that. We also want to take a look at two major aspects of a travel trailer. One, how do we conserve water? And two, how do we maximize our energy? Now every Airstream has a front port for a portable solar array. But unique to the REI is an optional 360 watts of solar with two 100 amp hour lithium batteries. The solar is a little bit more unique. These panels are adhesive and they cover almost the entire roof of the base camp itself. That allows for not just your weekend getaway, but that allows you to really extend your adventures. Up front, we have our two and five sixteenths hitch, our seven way, our breakaway chains, and that emergency brake. Unique to the base camp is this LP shroud. It's all about aerodynamics. You have two 20 pound LP tanks and a shelf up on top that allows you to hold cables, hoses, etc. Down below, you'll see on this particular model, as we got it here to this park, uh, you'll see a, the, the Blue Ox Track Pro weight distribution hitch. Off the side of the base camp, we've got a lockable door. This door opens up, you can grab the shower. You have both hot and cold water. You can rinse yourself off, rinse off your gear, all while putting nothing into the holding tank. It just simply goes to the ground. Right below that is a storage area. Uh, that storage area can be used for a uh, water hose, tools, gear, etc. Next to this is a release valve and the actual area for that holding tank to be released. The wheel itself is unique and exclusive to REI, this REI edition. Off to the back, you have exhaust pores for your water heater and your furnace. Um, you have two areas of water connections. You can simply connect the water if you're at a campsite or if you are boondocking like we are here, you have a area to unlock and you can fill that fresh water tank. On the inside, there's an onboard pump and that pump along with that tank allows you to simply utilize all the faucets on the inside of the unit. Lastly, we have a plug. It's a 30 amp plug, 30 amp connection. We use a smart plug for its lightweight cord, easy to use and the solid connection that we have on that connectivity of the smart plug. On the rear of the base camp, we have these automotive styled cast aluminum LED tail lights. We have a latch up on top that helps with windy days, but it helps if you have the door open to be able to keep that latch, the door doesn't shut. Um, unique to the REI is this green that surrounds the door, surrounds the window, and also the license plate. On the inside, you have a whiteboard to tell, let people know where you might be going off to. You've got three different storage areas. REI comes with a first aid kit. All base camps come with a rear window and a privacy shade when you're ready to call it a night. On the REI, we've got two racking systems, one on the wall and one on the floor. The one on the wall can be designed for gear, maybe hang a helmet from it, whatever you may want to have it. But on the floor, what's unique is you can actually now bring bikes in and you can mount them to a mount. That mount is sold separately, but it fits right onto that track. The door opening is 26 inches wide, which allows for any bike handlebar to be pushed through. Even the real wide ones, you can just maneuver. 
Right below the, the rear door, you have a spare tire with a keyhole. That keyhole, a tool will go in, simply cranks it down, makes it nice and easy to access that spare tire. If you take a look at the overall design of Basecamp, you'll see a, an intentional and aggressive departure angle. That departure angle is done so on purpose to get you through those dips and ravines you may encounter. Right beside it, or right back here, you have some skid pads. Those skid pads are there on purpose in case you get into a difficult situation it won't damage the bottom of the base camp. You have two heavy duty stabilizer jacks that when down, creates a nice sure-footed area for base camp while you're inside. When you are plugged into shore power, you've got, an, you've got two plugs here, both 110 that allows you to connect up to two devices. As a leader in outdoor recreational gear, we came together to create a kit to enhance your adventure. That kit has a dedicated place and dedicated storage on the inside. And a lot of these are intended to be used outside. Real quick and easy way to get your camp set up. It comes with flex light chairs, uh, your roll top table, a down blanket, if the campsite is equipped with a picnic table, a cover for that picnic table, as well as a cover for the chairs, it has a little cushion to it. First aid kit that you saw on the back door, a clothesline that could be hung, great for drying out a wetsuit, uh, playing cards, two mugs, and this Illuminate, which is actually uh, a light that lights up, as well as a lantern to walk around with, and it could charge your devices. It also comes with a soft set of cooler and these packaways. The largest packaway goes right in that rear cargo door, while the other smaller packaways go in the overhead storage area or dedicated storage areas throughout the cabinetry inside the base camp itself. Now that we've seen the exterior and the kit, we're gonna take a tour on the inside of the all new REI Special Edition. The base camp has a lot of similar features to our traditional base camp as far as floor plan, but the materials being used throughout and some of the different compartments that we have are slightly different. For one, the designers really want to focus on sustainability. Secondly, they also wanted it to look more like nature as well as some of the attention to detail that they put into their flagship stores. They really wanted to focus on bringing the color of nature in. So you can take a look of the exposed edge that we have on the, on the birch plywood, the exposed fasteners that are throughout, the cargo net holders rather than the plexiglass that we have in the traditional base camp. And instead of having the flatware holder over in this area, it's actually up against the wall. So up on the wall itself, there's a cutting board and pockets for your flatware. It also comes with these OXO um, accessories. You have a cutting knife, a cleaning tool, a pan scraper, and also some utilities aspects for cooking. The sink cover also doubles as a cutting board as well. Now the sink is a little bit different in the REI Special Edition. You've got the standard faucet, but then you have a filtered faucet. So the filtration device uses a UV LED filtration that comes from the fresh tank through the pump and into that filtration system. So you get a full filtration system inside this particular unit. Two burner cooktop gas stove. You have these items that come up. Um, these receptacles are two 110s and USBs. There's two of those up here and those are used when you are on shore power. Now, there are other areas in here with USB ports if you're boondocking and using battery. The 3.1 cubic foot fridge, you have a microwave. The microwave is optional. If it is not there, you have just another storage area. Storage where you can see where some of the gear has come from. You have down below a place to put boots, dirty clothes, wetsuits, whatever you may want to have that's on there. Now back to the decor itself. You can see the greens, you can see the different color, the natural wood, everything else. There's also a change to the floor and to the cushions. So that is all designed around 
that center focus of sustainability as well as bringing that outside kind of in. Underneath this coin design vinyl flooring is all new composite flooring throughout. So you have a composite split floor, composite flooring all through here and in the back, removing the wood that was once there in the past. So now, besides the furniture being wood, the entire unit is aluminum or composite. Underneath the composite flooring will be our tanks. Those tanks are heated in two different ways if you're in cold conditions. If you're in cold conditions and you want your furnace on, the furnace that heats the entire area will also heat your tanks. However, if you're gonna be gone throughout the day and you wanna conserve energy and conserve power, you can turn on just the tank heater button down below here by itself, and that will heat just the tanks without having to heat the entire inside of the unit. It's a way to conserve energy. In front of me here, you have a lockable storage area. So a nice deep recessed area here for taller or bigger items, and then a pocket here. Now inside here, there's two USB ports that actually can be routed. There's a little recess there, and you can actually have the units either inside and locked while it's being charged or have them being outside while you're using them. Down below here, you have three hooks. It's two storage areas with bungee closures and then your four switches which control the lights either inside and outside the base camp. Right across the way we have our wet bath. Inside the wet bath is a toilet shower combination. Because it's REI edition, it has a couple unique features to it. It comes with a REI caddy, two towels, some soap, and a design feature called paper terrazzo that is 30% recycled material on both sides of the wall. New this year is a composting toilet option. The composting toilet option basically takes your solids and removes them from going into the waste tank. So the waste tank is just liquid. The shower itself, I wanna to touch on this. It has a recirculating hot water feature. So the water itself will recirculate until the hot water reaches the shower head. And then the water will come out. It saves water. Again, sustainability and conserving that extra water. It's all about water conservation, making your trip last longer. And we're gonna focus on the back portion of the base camp now. This area is all about convertibility. You have the ability to keep it set up just like this, a U-shaped seating area, a split sleeping area, or a full 74 by 74 wide bed. Up top, you'll see the cargo storage with the REI bags. On this side, you have the blanket with another REI bag, and below this are the two boards that make this into a U-shaped seating area. It's split, so you can actually have different kind of bed conversions. So, for example, let's say you wanna leave a table up, but you wanna keep this into a bed. You can do that. You can put this into a bed, sleep this way, have your table. Or you can do the other way. You can have that into a bed and have this open with a table with maybe some gear. Unique to REI is gonna be this um, cargo holder. You can put on a carabiner, you can plug in some gear, a bag, maybe a helmet. And as we spoke about earlier, there's another one right here that's currently covered up, um, but that's where you can put bike mounts. Unique to uh, the base camp is this knoll fabric. Again, that color was to kind of mimic that of the outdoors. It's very comfortable, highly breathable. And then also with the REI, REI gives you this little mechanism that helps you store additional gear, whether you want to use it for drying or just gear storage. And it can go between the two. You can move, modify that either way you like. And speaking of storage, there's hooks all around the base camp. We've got hooks in the front, hooks as you walk in. We got hooks over here as well. A lot of places to store your gear. Next, we're going to talk about the control panel that we have set up in this base camp. On the very top of this is gonna be your solar monitoring. And again, you can monitor on this particular version with this option, 360 watts of solar on the top. Next to it, below, is gonna be your tank level monitoring. So it tells you how much you have in your tank. So fresh water and your combo tank. Below that is gonna be your thermostat for your furnace. And on the very bottom is gonna be our continuous hot water heater with that recirculating feature. There is your first look at the all new REI Special Edition Base Camp Travel Trailer. If you have questions or you'd like to see one in person, please contact one of our authorized Airstream dealers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you off the trail.